Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about serotonin and melatonin pathway. So let's start. Serotonin formation starts with tryptophan amino acid. Tryptophan will be converted into 5-hydroxytryptophan by tryptophan hydroxylase enzyme and O2 will be converted into H2O. Tetrahydrobiopterin will be converted into dihydrobiopterin the same way first step of phenylalanine metabolism. Dihydrobiopterin again converted into tetrahydrobiopterin by NADPH. 5-hydroxytryptophan will be converted into 5-hydroxytryptamine that is serotonin by pyridoxal phosphate dependent T-carboxylase enzyme. Then serotonin will be converted into 5-hydroxyindole acetic acid by monoamine oxidase and it will be excreted in urine. Serotonin is produced in brain, mast cell, gastrointestinal tract mucosa and found in platelets. Now we'll see the functions of serotonin. Serotonin plays important role in mood, sleep, appetite, blood pressure regulation, temperature regulation and it increases the GI motility. Serotonin level is found to be low in patients with depressive psychosis. Now we will see the applied part that is carcinoid tumors. Serotonin is produced by argentafin cells of the GI tract and is necessary for GIT motility. These cells may grow into locally malignant argentafinomas known as carcinoid tumors. These tumors develop mainly in small intestine or in the appendix. Serum level of serotonin increased in carcinoid tumors found more than 40 mg per deciliter. Symptoms of carcinoid tumors will be intermittent diarrhea, flushing, sweating, and often has fluctuating hypertension. Pellagra-like manifestation may also be seen in carcinoid syndrome. Normally about 1% of tryptophan molecule are channeled to the serotonin synthesis, but in carcinoid syndrome up to 60% is diverted to serotonin. And as you know niacin formation occurs from tryptophan. So pellagra may also be seen in carcinoid syndrome. Now how to diagnose carcinoid syndrome? As you know 5-hydroxyindole acetic acid is an excretory product. So excretion of 5-hydroxyindole acetate is tremendously elevated up to 500 mg per day against normal less than 5 mg per day in carcinoid syndrome. So the estimation of 5-hydroxyindole acetic acid in urine is used for diagnosis of this disorder. Now we'll see the effect of drugs on serotonin. The drug ipronazid, that is isopropyl isonicotinyl hydrazine, inhibits monoamine oxidase and elevates serotonin levels. This drug will cause mood elevation. Reserpine increases the degradation of serotonin and acts as a depression drug. Lysergic acid diethylamide that is LSD competes with serotonin and acts as a depressant. So that's all about serotonin. Now we will see melatonin synthesis. Serotonin first acetylated by enzyme acetylase and form acetyl serotonin and methylated by methyl transferase enzyme and methyl group is given by S-adenosyl methionine and form melatonin. So this is the whole serotonin melatonin pathway. Now we will see functions of melatonin. Melatonin is synthesized by the pineal gland. It is involved in circadian rhythms or diurnal variation that is 24 hour cycle process of the body. It plays a significant role in sleep and wake process. 
it inhibits the production of melanocyte stimulating hormone and adrenocorticotropic hormone. It also performs a neurotransmitter function. Applied part of tryptophan amino acid, heart nub disease. It is inherited autosomal recessive disease. What's the basic defect? Absorption of aromatic amino acids from intestine as well as reabsorption from renal tubules are defective. So amino acids are excreted in urine. Pellagra-like symptoms are also seen as niacin is derived from tryptophan. Symptoms will be dermatitis, ataxia and mental retardation. Diagnosis can be done by detection of amino acid ureas and increased excretion of indole compounds in urine. Patients improve when put on high protein diet with supplementation of niacin. So that's all about serotonin melatonin pathway. If you find this video informative then please do like and share this video and also subscribe this channel for more videos on biochemistry. Thank you.